title of my speech is Color Youth Consultations. Uh, beyond the limited beauty and popularity of dark and smoky side, color youth are happy and young for 25% of all normal species. But notice many coral leaves get damaged or dying because of um, some natural disasters or human carelessness. I believe uh, people should protect coral leaves. So today I'm going to talk about uh, types of coral leaves and why coral leaves are so important and why uh, many coral leaves, in, coral leaves are in serious trouble and how can we protect them. So, Okay, uh, basically uh, there are three types of coral reefs. According to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrations, the first types of coral reefs is the clinging reefs. And uh, these coral reefs flow uh, seaward uh, directly from the shore and they form uh, borders along the shoreline and the surrounding uh, island. And this is the most uh, common type of coral reef, and we can also see this island. The second, of ty second type of coral reef is a uh, autumnal reef. And these coral reefs are usually uh, circular and uh, oval in shape with open lagoon in the center. And the last type of cor uh, coral reef is Barrier leaves. And barrier leaves are similar to the, the first types of the first one, uh, pinging leaves. And in that they also border shoreline, but instead of blowing directly out from the shore, they are separated from land by express waters. So there are uh, basically three types of coral leaves. And uh, so now I'm going to talk about why coral reefs are so important. The coral reefs is cover about 230,000 square miles. And also, uh, coral reefs are important for all mining species to live. And also, uh, as humans, we, uh, they provide for us. Uh, they provide fuel for us. And also, it is important to maintain ecosystems. Because if coral, if coral reefs are dying, it means uh, many, uh, many fishes become extinct. So uh, we need to uh, protect coral reefs to maintain ecosystems. And why many reefs are in uh, serious troubles? Because of uh, some natural disasters. For example, the bleaching coral reefs is the effect of global warming and also uh, some uh, tsunami or earthquake or hurricanes or uh, uh, typhoons and also the bad pollution. If you throw away something to the oceans, that can be also bad for the coral reefs. But I believe the most biggest cause is human carelessness. <clears throat> because of how to keep up. <laughs> uh, because uh, some people work on the coral leaves or uh, uh, maybe the boat using anchors or uh, uh, some divers uh, they also get damaged with their equipment or keep coral leaves with their fins <clears throat> or uh, some people have taken away coral leaves as a souvenir And according to the uh, New York Times on um, April 4th, 2010, the Great Barrier Reef coral reefs got serious damage by a large, large uh, Chinese tankers. And this tanker crashed into coral reefs 
at nine miles outside of the city lane, was hauling seven, 72,000 tons of coral reefs. And after the crash, uh, 1,075 tons of en engine oil flowed out into the oceans. And it could take more than 20 years to repair. This is a picture of the after the Chinese sunken crash into the red coral reefs. And this is all like the coral reefs and now is also some coral reefs get serious damages. <coughs> um, this one is an uh, oil from campus and this bar is you know, for some oil security bar. So now I'm going to talk about how can we protect coral reefs. It's very simple. It's like when you go diving or snorkeling, just keep your hands away from the coral reef and don't touch, don't kick them, just take a pictures or just watch it. Or we can also do underwater cleaners to clean some garbage in the underwater or uh, also uh, make some uh, areas to protect the coral reefs <coughs> or don't anchor on the reef uh, reefs or corals or uh, uh, we can make also some new laws to protect coral reefs because here in Hawaii uh, we have a law for the turtles so we can also make a law for the coral reefs <coughs> so today uh, I have talked about uh, con uh, coral reefs conservations and I think uh, people must think about this year's program and also people must know that without coral reefs we cannot live because they provide food, provide food for us and I hope that one day there are no uh, dead or damaged coral reefs and also, <coughs> uh, uh, we will lose our lives by ourselves if we continue to destroy them. So just think about it, just, just think about it and ask yourself. Now it's time to take action to protect our lives. Thank you.